Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you? First, I want to apologize for taking so long. My dog was dying several days. We tried to get her back on her feet, and then when she died, then I had I, this one hurt. This one hurt bad. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just explaining. It took a few days of grieving. I didn't want to do readings while I was in that energy because it's not fair to somebody that pays their hard-earned money for me to be all sappy doing a reading. And maybe my energy bleed into it because it, it was it was rough. So I want to thank you for that. And I'm never afraid to refund somebody's money. So um, you've done this before. You understand how it works. But just don't forget. If it doesn't make any sense now, you'll either remember it later, see it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later. So just keep everything in mind. Lips are dry. I've been talking too much. So we're going to talk to Grandma first. Talk to Nana. Going to talk to Nana Joyce. <laughs> Ask him. She goes, Elisa K. Now that may not be your middle name, but she's, because we kind of stink at names, but she's making it clear that she used your middle name when she wanted to get your attention. <laughs> she says, What are you doing? Lisa Kay, what are you doing? It's one of those that uh, makes you sit up and go, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I don't feel like she's mad at you. She said, oh. She says you've made some poor choices in the people around you lately. That they're not the best choice for you. She says, you know better. And she's not talking about whether it's male or female. She's not talking about like it's partner, anything like that. So it's probably just, it could be somebody at work that you're friendly to. Could be people in the grocery store you're too friendly to. I don't know. She's not. Somebody that's that you see more than once in a while, I think. See, she's going to specify. And she's talking like it's more than one. Maybe it's a group of people that you hung out with. Oh, man, I'm getting hot in here. I had my room heater on too high. Woo! She's just saying you need to pick better. Be careful. She's showing like a big knife like backstabbers. She says a backstabber in the group. She says you know who she's talking about. She doesn't like them treating you that way. She wants better for you. Don't give them two cents of your time. She said it just like that, cocking her head back and forth. Don't give them two cents of your time. They don't deserve somebody like you. I can't see what she's doing. Hang on. Well, sometimes when they get too close, they make my head itch like I got head lice. Their energy makes my head tingle. She says, You're a little bit stressed about Christmas.
but it's it's not about the presents and the money you spend on them. It's the love that you put into it. And she says she knows in this materialistic world, they make it feel otherwise. But just know if you make the day special in some way with special cookies or special food or just your presence special in a cheery way. And don't forget the pictures. My grandson was complaining the other day because I was taking too, ma too many pictures of him at an event. And I said, someday I'll be gone and I won't be there to take all these pictures. Maybe she took a lot of pictures. And you'll, you'll miss these moments when you don't have a picture of them. So that could be why she's bringing that up. I take the pictures anyway, I don't care. Cry me a river. <laughs> and tell me what to do, little boy. <laughs> She says, just know in your heart that you're doing the best you can. <laughs> she says, don't do like Rhonda did. Yeah, well, when I had enough money, I know what she's talking about. I'd buy them all this crap. And then when I ended up being really, really broke, I had to go to my mother and ask for money, ask her to take me shopping and we bought every little army man and wrapped them separate just so there would be lots of presents to open because I didn't have much money and they had just as good a Christmas they didn't really they were little they didn't know the difference it's not about the present it's about the presence the presence of you being with them She says, so no, all is good, even when you think it's not. She's got her nose up in the air, so I don't know what you're going to be cooking that day, but she's got her nose up in the air, like sniffing. <laughs> One of the things you're going to be cooking, something she used to cook, something she used to make, a certain cookie or something. Know that the smell of whatever that is or maybe something you used to make that she liked a lot. Something. Know that the smell of that will be a sign from her. Not while you're cooking it, that doesn't count. But like, if you're in your car, if you're outside and you smell that, know that that'll be a sign from her. Make sure you validate her, acknowledge her, tell her you love her, and ask her to bring you more signs. She's jingling keys. She's got keys and she's just rattling the hell out of them. So you should hear that too. That'll be another sign from her. Or maybe you've already heard it. She says you're more special than you know. Oh, and she got real quiet. Now she's saying, Nana's here. Nana's here. So I don't know if she used to come into your house and open the door and go, Nana's here. Or if she's just letting you know she's still here. But you, uh, you'll probably, she's making me, Feel like you're going to hear somebody you might be at somebody else's house and their nana might come in and go nana's here doesn't matter if it's not your nana and you hear that you might hear it on a movie could hear it in a song doesn't matter where you hear it that'll still be a sign from her so validate her acknowledge her 
Tell her you love her and ask her to bring you, you more signs. Give her permission. I'm always here to bounce you on my knee. So she won't literally bounce. I'm like, well, you might feel the couch. Somebody was poking on me the other night. They're not supposed to be in my house without letting me know that they're coming or being invited. But I've had a few lately. So if you do feel that little bump under your rump, <laughs> bump under the rump, know that that would be her if that happens. She's not saying she's going to do that. Something about hard hard Christmas candy. Hard Christmas candy. Does she have a favorite candy that was hard? Well, mainly at Christmas, I guess, but it doesn't have to be. Or maybe there's a candy, her favorite candy that you get in her honor at Christmas. She's trying to validate something. Off, off, off to sunnier shores. She's saying off to sunnier shores. Does she live by the water? Did she like to go to the beach? Did she go to Cancun a lot or, you know? I'm not sure where she's going with that. She says, you are so pretty, and you don't even realize it. You're very beautiful. And you do like a lot of us women do. And you look in the mirror and you go, ew, I don't like the way you look. She says, you're, you're much prettier than you give yourself credit for. <laughs> she says, Use it. <laughs> Use those good looks. Use them to your advantage. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> Use them before your face starts sagging like my old face. <laughs> Use the perk up. <laughs> Use it while you got it. Now she's showing me an ironing board. She's ironing shirts. I don't know if she used to. I don't even. I don't remember the last time I used my ironing board. <laughs> I actually saw it the other day, <laughs> where it's at. I thought, oh, I do still have one. But back in the day, that's what we did. So, um, maybe you were just ironing. Maybe you still iron. Maybe she ironed your clothes for you. I uh, don't know. Don't know where she's going with that, or maybe she just ironed a lot. If I need anything ironed, I can send it up to my mom. She's an expert at ironing. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I sent the grandson's dress shirt up there the other day. So she's She says, know that we're here for you. She's going like this. She says, we're always listening. We're always ready to listen. We're always there for you. So don't, don't forget that even though you may not realize it as you're doing it, you can tell us anything. And we won't blab your secrets. Turn around. She's got a male there with her, but I don't feel like I don't feel like it's like a spouse or anything. But I can't really see him. I only see him. She's he's got his back turned to me, but she's got her her arm on his shoulder. 
he's got kind of a thick, heavy denim jacket on, but it's it looks, I don't want to say scruffy, but it's not like dressy. It's like, like he's had a long time or it could be a work jacket. And he's got a stocking cap on. Yeah, I can't tell how old he is, but he's not a kid. He's not young. And I'm not sure why I'm not allowed to see the front of him. Got a brown stocking cap on, if that makes any difference. And a heavy denim, like you would wear to and from work or at work or something. It almost looks like it has a little fuzz on it. Something different about the collar on it. Maybe it has plaid on the collar. I can't. There's something different about the collar. For some reason, she's bringing him through. He looks like he would have a kind of a round face. He, he doesn't look skinny. So I don't know what the purpose is of me seeing the back of him. There's something I need to see. Something, something weird about his left ear. Maybe. Did he have an earring? Something, something different about his left ear. Or maybe he couldn't hear out of his left ear. I don't know. Anyway. There's always a reason for whatever they show or say. So just keep it in mind if it doesn't make any sense now. Maybe you'll think of it later. And with that, they're going to leave. Don't forget, I'm listening. Anytime, anytime you need to talk, I'm listening. Okay, thank you, my dear, for being patient. Uh, never mind giving a refund, you know, if something, but just shit got in the way. <sighs> Hopefully, no more hiccups for a while so I can get all my work caught up. See you later, Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. I'm going to try to get your other one done tomorrow, no promises. Later.